Every artist has their own color mixing system. Today I'm going to show you how to use only the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, to mix all the color that you need for watercolor painting. We're going to separate into three different groups. So we're going to start with one group first. When you talk about orange color, orange color is actually between the red and the yellow. Not just one specific orange color. There's many orange color in between. So let's take a look. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the red color. So when you take the color, I want you to start from a side. Always you only use the tip of the brush to take color. I don't want you to go in the middle. So be a little careful with that. When you give it in the middle, like most of the time we don't need that much colors in the brush. We just need some color, tap on it. And if you want, you can tap a little bit over here, making sure it's not overload your brush. And get a little bit water. And then let's see, we're gonna start over here. How about that? Some yellow color. It's just pure yellow. How about we're gonna get a little red? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just from the side. Do you guys see it? Just from the side over here. I'm going to get some red color over here. I'm going to mix it a little bit. Now, I want to get a little bit more yellow. Now, this color already have some red in it. This color is kind of orange already. So if you're going to get a little bit more red and the color would going toward more and more red. Okay. And if you get a little add a little bit more red into the color and just keep going into this direction. Now I'm going to get a little bit more red. I just tip a little water first, right? So the water it is help you to blend into the color. I can get a little more of the red. I get a little bit more red now because I didn't actually wash my brush. Do you see me? Did I wash my brush? No, I did not. I just add a little water in here. So that means uh, before it has yellow color first, right? The yellow color is still in the brush. It just get, get less and less because every time you, you apply some colors onto the paper and we just lose some yellow color. You still see the yellow color over there, right? So now if I adding more and more red color and the color just have more red and less yellow, that is the And now I'm gonna keep adding a little water and adding a little bit more and more red. And then also the brush, it has less and less original yellow color. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more red. And this time, I think it's only red. The original yellow probably already gone. So you can see the color changing from yellow and gradually getting warmer and warmer, more and more red and get to 100% red. So, what about over here? Can I make it smoother? I'm gonna show you that because everything is about water. If I'm gonna make it smoother, I'm gonna wet this area a little bit. And with the water, and I get a little yellow in here. And the yellow color actually blend in the, from the yellow into the orange color. See that? It's very smooth. Is that easy to mix colors? It's very easy, right? Now we're gonna do the second one. Let's see, between the next pair of primary color, these three colors called primary colors, we're gonna get, let's say, yellow. This time I'm gonna change the direction. I'm gonna get a little yellow. I'm gonna start from the bottom. How about that? And I'm going to start over here to the yellow color. I'm going to leave a little gap. And 
because the blue color is so strong before I do that and we're just gonna take some blue color out here first because those color are very thick I'm gonna put a little blue color over here put it here first okay, a little bit blue okay now what I will want to do is since I already I already have some blue over here okay. now I'm gonna come to back to the yellow put the yellow color here and I'm gonna start adding a little bit blue colors now you can see now color get a little bit kind of a yellow green color right yay get a little bit more and the color a little bit more blue and going to toward more and more green color a little more you see it changing now add a little more and keep going and just keep adding a little a little more and it still have some yellow color in it because this is what we started if I don't have yellow color in here it will be just blue right so I'm gonna get it a little more a more uh, the blue color and get a little bit more and more blue now going toward the blue and a little more I'm gonna cut it on this side change the angle now I'm gonna wash my brush I think this is I'm gonna get a little bit even a little bit more blue it just get a little yellow but I'm gonna get a little thicker blue a little bit more blue some water and then this is almost just like just like a blue if I clean my brush and just get the blue color always when you take color from the side okay don't get in the middle okay and then this would end the whole color chip now from the blue turn to the yellow in the middle over here it is the green color now another pair what is the other pair huh? purple the red and blue uh, red and blue that's right so we're gonna make the red over here okay make the red here first I'm gonna clean the brush before I take the blue colors so also, how much water do you have in the brush? Also important. If the if the color is too much water, and the color with more liquid, and also with the water with running, and also the color would be lighter, right? And this time we're gonna start from a blue color because I just took the blue colors. So I'm gonna take the blue color. I'm gonna start over here like this get the blue color and now I'm gonna get a little bit red from the side you see I don't want to get in the middle when you get in the middle you ruin the entire color chip so I'm gonna just get a little bit red you don't see much difference yet and you're gonna gradually changing a little bit red a little bit red get a little bit red now keep going because the blue is so powerful I think I'm gonna get a little bit red from the side and no I'm gonna clean the brush I need a, a little bit more red coming out from here just the red and get a little blue okay, here you go that's a little bit better a little bit more red now turning gradually turning into the red directions I get a little bit more red 
a little bit more red. Now just adding red. Now here you go. I got a little bit more red. Now I'm gonna keep adding, adding more and more red. You get the idea? Now I get even more red. It's still, the blue in the brush still pretty strong. And I'm gonna have to clean it. Let some color go. And then I'm going to come back here, get the red, and with this color, because this color already have some uh, blue color in it, right? So, now it's still a bit too light, so I'm gonna get a little more colors. I wanna get a little more color and mix with in here. And now, I'm gonna let go some of the color and the brush and the wet. Now I'm gonna just close to red and so you can get more red. See that? Now I'm going to finish it by adding only the red. So you can see from this transition, from the blue gradually turn into purple and gradually turn into red purple and then red colors. But all those colors, they are all intense color, or say bright color. They are pretty bright. So now, I do want to mix a color wheel to show you. Because the color wheel, we can see the relationship between the colors across from the other opposite side of the wheel. So I'm gonna get the yellow color in here. All right, just a dot. I'm gonna wash my brush. And I'm gonna get a little red. And the red over here. It will be good to keep your water clean. And, and the blue over here. So you can see, this is the three colors. They're very beautiful. And, but be careful about how much water do you use. If you put the water like this, more water, the color look lighter, okay? That means, oh, I want to make the color a little bit darker, the same color, and I'm gonna let go some of the wet, and then you come back here to get a little bit more color with less water, and then the color will be darker, right? That means it's all those color, if you want this color a little bit lighter, in my brush, there's nothing, just water. If I just wash it and make this color, and gradually blend out, and this is the light version of the same color. It's just a little lighter. Okay, so that means also when you want the color become lighter in the painting, is you already apply the color there, but I want the color lighter. How can you do that? With the clean water, just wash it off. But what about I want it to be disappear? Oh, that's even easier. So keep washing. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually it will get lighter and lighter. Let's start the color wheel. We're gonna start from the yellow to the red, the same thing. Let's mix the middle color over here, how about that? So we're gonna get the yellow color, we get a little red color, making sure the color is clean. I'm gonna go into on this side and put some red color over there to mix a little bit more yellow color. Now I come back to get a little bit more red, so until I get the color that I want, and then I put it here. So be a little careful. If the color too much water, it will look too light. It doesn't look like it belong to the same family. I want you to be more consistent. Not like a really lots of water, watery, and the color suddenly become too light. I want it to be gradually changing. Now, okay, which direction should I go? Let's go to the red. How about that? Let's go to the red, and then we get a little red color on this side. A little more red colors, and on this side. Gradually, and turn into the red. It's a slow changing. Now, now, I'm gonna go to the other side. How about that? I'm gonna change it. I'm just going to yellow colors. 
the yellow color now I'm gonna just get a little red oh, too much that's good enough now I'm gonna start from this color a little bit red a little more red thank you not enough a little more keep it consistent All right now I'm gonna get even a little bit more red now I close the connection. Now you can see the color wheel on this side, this one third of the space from yellow turn into the red color. Now what about from this side? Okay, we're gonna get a yellow color over here and we already have some blue color here. Oh, that's pretty nice. That is, what is this color? Beautiful green colors. So if you're going to buy a green color from the store, it most likely look like that. So what about if I want some color, uh, add the green color, a little bit more yellow. I'm going to take a little yellow. That's not the green colors. So you have to buy that too, right? But now you know how to mix it. So you don't need to actually get that color, individual colors. So I'm going to get this color a little bit more yellow I'm gonna get this color even more yellow oh not enough so now the last color I have to get a whole lot of yellow and mix it with this color so I finished that connection now okay starting from this color I'm gonna get a little bit blue <clears throat> let me see what that color belong to it, probably over here and I'm gonna get a little bit yellow and I can connect this gap I just get a little bit more blue and it will be coming to this side so from yellow turn into blue this is ugly uh, <laughs> so cool. but okay if you want, you can actually draw a perfect circle before you. What about on this side? The same thing, right? We're going to get the blue color mixed with a little red. So this is only red. There's no yellow. So making sure it's only between two colors. You don't want to get the third color in here. Okay. If you want to have that colors, you see that that's one of the examples that speak become too light. I'm gonna get a little red from this side. Okay, a little red, okay. This more of the color. I'm gonna get a little bit more red, and I'm gonna get a little more red, just from behind that. And the color change the temperature, become a little bit warmer. Okay, become a little bit warmer. Now, between blue and red, it's just from cold, cool color blue, and get warmer and warmer when it gets into the red, it's very warm colors, right? So, okay, get a little bit more red. I'm gonna get the red, I don't wanna get the yellow. So, and this color will be here. Get a little bit more red. That color will be here get a little bit more I think even a little bit more put it here okay that is this color <sighs> nice a little bit more red okay Yo, the blue is too strong I'm gonna let go of that so I come back here it's already have some blue color in this color but I'm gonna get a little bit more red, and this color will be here. It's still the difference between that color and that color. It has some blue color in it. So when you get used to mixing this color well, and you can see the color. When I see that color, I know what color in there. But all the color that you have in mind, those are only three colors. Get a little bit more red. I'm gonna get a little bit more water. I'm gonna get to this side. You see, my brushes still have some blue color. Okay, like 
that and get a little bit water let go some of the blue and get a little bit red right here so trust me between these two color still not the same color because my brush still have some little bit blue colors so you can see that a smooth transition from one color change to another color so let's take a look yellow color facing across the center that is the purple color and these two color is called complementary colors right and what about from the the red across from the center green is the green complementary colors and also the blue facing to the orange, orange. colors <coughs> So each pair of complementary colors, they is going to neutralize each other to become a gray color. Why? The green color with the red, green color has what color and color into it? Yellow and blue. Exactly. The other two complementary colors. That means if you have three colors together, make the color gray. Gray can be a little warmer gray, can be green gray, can be a little blue gray. This is kind of like it has a range of gray colors. Depends on the temperature of the colors. Let's take a look. If I have, for example, I have, I want to get some yellow colors. There's not much yellow color over here. Let's see, what do we have in here? Blue, right? You got it? The blue, so mix with that in the green color. But this color also has some red color in it. So take a look. This color compared with that color, not so bright. This color has no red in it. And I want to add a little bit more red, a more red in here. And going into more like a brownish gray colors. And if you get that, I'm going to get a little bit, uh, ooh, a little bit blue colors. Oh, so I'm going to get a little red color, yellow color in here. See, those are not the gray colors. But any color that you mix with the three color together, the colors always look less bright as only compared with the color that mixed with only two primary colors. The reason for that is just the color is get neutralized because complementary colors together. Or you can say the three colors all mixed together. Let's say if we keep going, okay, okay, we're gonna keep mixing the color. Let's take a look at this color. What about that? Oh, it's still a little bit kind of bluish. So I'm gonna get a little bit red. How about that? And that color, a little bit red. And that color. How about that color? Is that gray enough? Oh, I'm gonna mix her gray. I'm gonna get a little red because that color, I see a little bit more red. A little bit more red. Get a little bit more red in here. Here you go. And then I'm gonna add the water. Is that the gray color? Or if it's not, oh, I'm gonna get a little bit red, a little bit more red, and in here. Now this gray color, a little bit different. It's pretty close to her shirt color, right? So with this kind of simple method of mixing, you can have almost all the color that you want. Let's say I want the light purple color, it's simple. Just two colors. You can make this color lighter, right? That is a little light purple colors. I want a little pinky colors. That's fine, the red. That's pinky colors. What about I'm gonna have some color really dark. Now I'm gonna show you the darkest colors that you can mix with. I'm gonna take this color out and also get a little color from the side over here. That is very dark color. Very dark color, even darker than your shirt. I believe when you go to the store, they said there's a black shirt, right? Yeah. 
but this will be darker than the black. Just by mixing the red color and the Prussian blue together. So after it dry, if you want to make it darker, you make another layer on the top. You add your two layers together, it will look even darker. After some practice, you will confidence to mix any color that you see in this form. There's no problem. Okay, you believe you can do it. <laughs>